Well, I have always been dissatisfied. Sometimes I fear there is no longer a dream. You're against independence now, and you always will be. Stop it! Stop it! Only the discontentment. You talk as if independence were the rule. It's never been done before. No colony has ever broken from the parent stem in the history of the world. My quartermaster has no food, no arms, no ammunition, and my troops are in a state of near mutiny. Tell me, Doctor, where does Georgia stand on the question of independence? Pennsylvania moves that any votes in favor of independence must be unanimous. Delaware seconds, Mr. President. Look for yourself, man. Maryland, Pennsylvania, the entire South. It's impossible. All right, gentlemen. Which of us will write our Declaration of Independence? Mr. Thompson, are there any resolutions? If you have grievances, and I'm sure you have, our present system must provide a gentler means of redressing them, short of revolution. When, in the course of human events, it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve the political bands which have connected them with another, and to assume among the powers of the earth... These men, no matter how much we may disagree with them, they and the people they represent will be part of this new nation you'd hope to create. If there are no more changes, then I can assume the report of the Declaration Committee has been just a moment, Mr. President. Jefferson, when are you going to speak up for your own work? I had hoped that the work would speak for itself. Landlord! Lawyer! Consider yourselves fortunate that you have John Adams to abuse, for no sane man would tolerate it!